Hi, and welcome back to the Biomechanics of the Musculoskeletal System course. And in this unit, we're going to be talking about basic joint kinematics. Now, as you can imagine, joint kinematics are an extremely complex issue, and we're going to devote other units to the topic as well. But we thought we would start by presenting some of the basics. Now, of course, so far in this course, we have already talked about segment kinematics, and as you have probably deduced by now, joint kinematics are, in a lot of ways, uh, a derivative of segment kinematics, as joints are defined by segments when it comes to our biomechanical models, at least in most cases. As we'll discuss later on, there are also joint coordinate systems, which are to an extent related to segment kinematics, but they go a step beyond to define the joint itself. But in this unit, we are going to focus on the ankle, where essentially the ankle is a relationship between two planes, or segments, if you will, which would be the shank and the foot. Now, the reason we've chosen the ankle is because, in a lot of ways, the ankle is problematic in that, as you know, having gone through the Visual 3D Basics course, the relationship between the pelvis and the thigh is fairly straightforward because beyond sharing the same general direction for the sagittal axis, the uh, y-axis, or the axis that's lying in the frontal plane, is also in common, and more importantly, the z-axis is essentially in the same direction. Similarly, we have the shank, which actually here I'm putting each of these at the bottom, which is of uh, the segment instead of the top, which would have been the norm for Visual 3D, but for you to see it better, this uh, maybe makes a little bit more sense. Anyway, you see, all these segment coordinate systems are basically just translations of each other in what we would consider a neutral position. The challenge comes in and this is why we did not deal with the foot in the last one. The foot, which if you simply define it the way that Visual 3D does, you end up with an x-axis or sagittal axis, which is similar, though not the same, as what we find in the other segments. And then you have a anterior axis that's coming out at an angle and you have this longitudinal axis which ends up creating a big headache for us to interpret as such. So the focus of this unit as we discuss joint kinematics is going to be on the ankle and the relationship between the segments and a better way to understand the definition of a joint. So continue on to the next chapter as we define our uh, foot segment as a single segment to discuss the ankle.